that athletes do dumbass things if it improves their performance. Gymnastics is a pretty dangerous sport, so what must it take for a technique to be so dangerous that they officially ban it? Well, sometimes they say a technique's too dangerous because they're afraid someone's going to get injured, but other times it's because someone did get injured. And unfortunately in this situation, the technique that we're going to be talking about was banned following several serious accidents, but most notably the paralysis of Yelena Mushkina in 1980. So what is this technique? Well, it's called the Thomas Salto, and it was a technique that was used on the floor routine by an American gymnast named Kurt Thomas in the 1970s. And it was a tucked one and a half backflip with a one and a half twist, but the key here is when he went to land, he landed head first into a forward roll. So the reason it's called the Thomas Salto is it's named after Kurt Thomas, and Salto is the gymnastics term for flip or somersault, so it's called the Kurt Thomas Flip or the Thomas Salto. The key thing here is the athlete lands head first into a roll. The Thomas Salto was extremely dangerous because it really depended on the athlete being able to get enough height and speed while still being able to do all these flips and midair twists and then have enough time and room to land safely into a forward roll. You see, when Kurt Thomas performed this signature technique at the 1978 World Championships in Strasbourg, France, he became the first US male gymnast to win a gold medal in the floor exercise, so it got a lot of attention worldwide. Well, on the women's side, at that same 1978 World Championships was the all-around champion, an athlete that you may have heard before, Yelena Mushkina. And if you're wondering, well, where does that name sound familiar from? Go check out the Dead Loop video that I did. It's another band technique video, and you'll see her name pop up again in that video. So at that 1978 World Championships, she and her coaches observed Kurt Thomas performing this new signature technique on the floor routine, and her coaches decided that she should add it to her routine. In what is now a well-documented series of events, she breaks her leg in 1979 while training for the 1980 Olympics. She then has her cast prematurely removed by her coach and trainer, and then they take some x-rays and reveal that it's still broken. So then they rush her into emergency surgery and put a new cast on her. Well, the coach was pressuring her to start training, so he again cuts off her cast early. Right now she knew it wasn't ready, but she trained. Now for a male gymnast, the Thomas Salto took near perfect timing to avoid either under rotating and landing on your chin or over rotating and landing on the back of your head. So you can imagine for a female gymnast, it was even more challenging. And then add in the fact that her leg wasn't completely healed and you had a recipe for tragedy. Two weeks prior to the 1980 Moscow Olympics, while practicing the pass containing the Thomas Salto, she under-rotated the Salto or the flip, she crash-landed on her chin, snapping her spine, and leaving her paralyzed as a quadriplegic. As a result of her injury and other similar incidents, the Thomas Salto and other rollout techniques have been removed from the code of points as an allowable skill for women, and more recently, men too. So this is now a named band move in gymnastics. And if you're enjoying these band technique videos and you have a specific technique that you would like to see me do a video on, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.